she pronounced her death before she died. See the shocking things Edwin or husband said that has caused reaction. I greet to now my people. I greet to now well. No be small matter. No be small matter. Everything just it happen unexpected. Oh my God! This year, save your children. No, and we are still on the matter of uh, this uh, female prophetess and the uh, singer Egbi Onru. Um, I tell you, the death of this woman that occurred on the twenty eighth of. April is still what is hitting up the street everywhere, just the hot everywhere. Everybody does the cry. Um, well, it go happen, but uh, I will just say that uh, let's just be careful with what we say and what uh, what we see hmm? because this is not the time to talk anyhow. Let's quickly check the content and know what the husband have said. This is today's news. At the funeral of the late singer Moreni K.G. Egwin Onru, her former husband shared insight into her life and their relationship, shedding light on her intentions regarding her properties before her untimely demise. He revealed that she expressed a desire to transfer all her assets to him, indicating her awareness of her impending passing, despite his reluctance to accept this. He advised her to seek legal counsel to manage her affairs and urged her to draft a will. The husband emphasized her foresight about her mortality. In a heartfelt interview, he praised her as a good woman who allowed him access to their children even after their separation in 2019. Following the birth of two children during their seven years union, he reassured that he had been actively fulfilling his parents' responsibility, including financing their education up to secondary school. With her passing, he vowed to continue supporting their education in her absence. Waiting caused their separation. Waiting caused their separation. Under seven years of marriage, waiting caused their separation. And again, which one be this uh, if she vowed to transfer all her assets to, to, to him? Waiting be the truth. Who we'll asked him that one? You see, this is why I said we be, need to be careful. Very, very careful. Even this statement that the husband have just made right now is implicating. He, he, he has implicated himself indirectly. Huh? Yes, the girl should have a lawyer. And I think uh, one way or the other, even if she doesn't have a lawyer, someone must have information concerning who the girl wishes to take over her property. From there, they can be able to know, uh, to detect the real truth concerning her death. I think we are, very, we, are, we are getting closer to the truth, gradually. You understand, from the husband's confession, Truth on the dash out. Small, small. All right, my dear listeners out there. Um, it's a pleasure reaching out to you. I appreciate you so much for listening and paying attention to this, our very broadcast on our web or no. Thank you so much. Um, I really like to hear from you and also to know what your take and what your opinion on all that has just been said by the husband. How do you feel? What is the truth? Hmm. Uh, me, I don't live suspicious. So, and like I said, I don't get the truth concerning her death. Mm, when I don't call me prophet anyway. anyway. Uh, don't forget your comments. Don't forget to uh, click on the red subscribe button to subscribe so that anytime we will upload any.